Hi there, friends. Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson on this Saturday just afternoon. We have Barry down in Louisiana. It came ashore or is coming ashore as a Cat 1 hurricane. You can see the swirl there. A fairly disorganized system as far as things go where most of the rain and heavy wind to the east and southeast of the actual center, which is uh, west of Baton Rouge there. But the rain really beginning to pick up from New Orleans east towards Gulfport and Mobile. And that's all going to pivot back to the north as we go throughout the course of the weekend. So the uh, late morning track on the remnants of Barry will take it through Louisiana. It's a little bit west now, a little bit west, and uh, eventually up in Arkansas, Missouri. So we stay on the eastern side of it for the next couple of days. Now, as of early afternoon on the Saturday, locally, we have a mix of sun and clouds across here, or across our area, breezy conditions, but not a lot of rain in general. We do have some showers and storms beginning to perk over there in the Alabama and a rain shield trying to come on in south of Philadelphia. So still a chance for some pop-up showers and storms throughout the course of the day, in addition to perhaps some of those uh, steadier rain showers later on. A flash flood watch continues through Monday for all of our northeastern Mississippi counties. Still the potential for one to five inches of rain. We're lowering the amounts and there will likely be some sort of a sharp cutoff between those of you that get soaked out towards I-55. Still that chance and areas farther east where we may not see a lot of heavy rain. So uh, that's the breakdown. One to five inches plus the highest amounts likely along the I-55 corridor and west. The farther east you live, uh, limited uh, flash flooding concerns most likely. We'll see how it plays out though, but uh, still the isolated tornado potential and cooler temperatures here as we go throughout the next few days. Now the best chance for rotating storms that could produce tornadoes today, uh, generally to our south, but there's always a chance that a shower could rotate or even a thunderstorm could rotate this far north and east of the center. So that's why we are watching out for that today. Tomorrow is uh, still the risk around. And I think tomorrow is actually going to be a better a day for tornado development if we're going to get it here across North Mississippi. The official outlook from the Storm Prediction Center is basically west of 55, but I would argue we may want to shift that farther east, so we will be on guard for that on uh, Sunday. Also Monday, too, we may want to shift the official outlook farther to the east. That would include more of North Mississippi, uh, just the heads to the bet. So that's a possibility as we go throughout the next couple of days. So in the near term, we have the remnants of Barry down there in Louisiana. We will have these little rain bands and storm bands come on through here uh, for the rest of today and tonight. A lot of this will tend to pulse down, I think, as we get into the overnight hours. And then tomorrow, as the remnants start to move more to the north, notice how we start to see these uh, bands with a little bit more color on them here Sunday afternoon. Uh, those may be a little bit more problematic for us as far as that isolated tornado potential during the day on Sunday, maybe Sunday night into our Monday. And we'll just see how all of this plays out, but uh, definitely some concerns through the weekend into Monday. Uh, that's the latest forecast for you here as of early Saturday afternoon. We'll keep you updated over on social media, also on WCBI-TV News tonight.